Okay guys, for any of you guys having trouble with your hoverboards, uh, one of the most common issues that these hoverboards have are the pressure sensor. Uh, this piece right here is what the pressure sensor is. Um, and I'll show you guys an extra part. This is basically a nipple, they call it. Um, so when somebody presses their foot on the rubber uh, below where my finger is, what happens is, see how that level? Now it goes up, level up. Basically it pushes this button causes that nipple to rise and within here in the front and the back there's basically two little wings like that or two little sticks and within there there's an LED light uh, similar to like a garage door uh, opener and how the sensor shines through and when it breaks contact the thing knows when to stop same kind of design here um, so when you press it stops the sensor and it knows to go forward or backwards um, that's one of the most common things to go wrong with these is either the pressure sensor or the uh, probably even more common the LED, uh, LED light within there. Um, this piece, if you can find a supplier, you can probably get for a couple dollars. Uh, most of the actual hoverboard websites and stuff in the U.S. are charging $100 for, for these pieces. So, I mean, it's not a cheap fix unless you can get your whoever you bought it from to send you a free uh free piece. A lot of times if you have issues with the board in the first few weeks, they'd much rather send you a free piece than they would... Uh, you know, give you a refund or have to send out a new board. So a lot of them will be, hey, I'll, I'll send you a piece. You can fix it yourself. It's really not that difficult to fix. Basically, these two plugs come out. There's four screws in the corner there. You'll unscrew those. You'll take this out. You'll put the new piece in. Uh, make sure the rubber nipples are lined up inside those sensors. Screw it back in. Plug these in, and your board's fixed. So that's probably one of the most common uh, issues with a hoverboard. Um, there's a uh, guy on YouTube has a really good video showing how he changes it. This one doesn't have a problem, so I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it, as they say. So I'm not going to mess with it, but that's basically how it gets fixed. It's a really easy fix. Um, hopefully this video helps you out. If so, give me a thumbs up. Uh, share this video with anyone who's having problems with their hoverboard. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button uh, below. And uh, check back for more videos, guys. We're always putting out, uh, putting out new content. Thanks for watching.